120 kilos. Such kind of weight can carry a ground drone circle. It can travel up to 15 kilometers with such kind of cargo, depending on the complexity of the surface. My name is Daniel Salem and you are watching War is Algebra. Together, we're gonna get acquainted with the different types of weapons that are being used in combat today. Decisive and fearless, and most importantly, invincible. This is about ground drones, which along with classic UAVs have also become a worthy driving force in the Russian-Ukrainian war that Russia started in the center of Europe. These drones can perform a variety of tasks on the battlefield while the soldier is in a relatively safe place. Therefore, their main purpose is to save lives and destroy the power of others. Today's program is about the capabilities and functions of Ukrainian-made ground drones. It looks funny, in some way like a child's toy. However, this little guy is not joking. This is a real Ukrainian know-how, ground drone Circo. This drone is mobile lively and almost invisible for the enemy's eyes. On a front line, it can deliver ammunition in scale reconnaissance. It can also be used as a kamikaze if necessary. It can approach a tank or a cluster of occupation troops and explode. Interesting. The cost of developing Circo is only near $1,000, and it has its history. It is the invention of a young Ukrainian soldier, Yevgen Hnatok. He named his development in honor of his fallen comrade, who had the call sign Circo. According to Yevgen, he redesigned this drone more than 20 times to bring it to perfection. He raised money for the parts during an online stream. Now Yevgen works in a design bureau and continues to manufacture the equipment. Where do you get spare parts? Components come from all over the world. The steel was produced in Ukraine. How many people are needed to make Circo? At the moment, only me. And how long does it take to assemble it? Approximately one day if all components are available. In terms of size, Circo is no bigger than an average Labrador, weighs up to 30 kilos and, as you have already seen, takes up to 120 kilos of weight. Circo is equipped with an electric motor, so it can move almost silently for a distance of up to 50 kilometers, depending on the load, weather conditions and the quality of the terrain. How does detonation happen? Is it all done from the remote control? Yes, a detonation board is installed here. You can set a timer for self-destruction, that is if, for example the drone is silenced, a specific time will pass, the drone will still explode. Circo is inconspicuous for radar reconnaissance systems. They can identify the drone, but they do not understand whether it is flying or moving on the ground. How is pilot training? Two minutes is enough for a person to figure out how to control this drone. Back and forth, left and right, nothing difficult. Can I try it? Yes, of course. <laughs> you cannot imagine how fast it can go. It's really mobile and it's really fast. Circo is capable of carrying ammunition, other cargo, evacuation and, of course, laying mines. What kind of explosives and how much can be carried? Considering its carrying capacity, the choice is very large. Aviation anti-tank bombs TAB-25, mines TM-62, maybe MON-200 or similar. Anti-personnel, anti-tank, even thermobaric munitions. In addition, Circo is able to perform reconnaissance missions and transmit data remotely to the operator. When they say that we need a reconnaissance drone, a rotating controllable camera is installed, its main task is to detect the enemy's firing positions, to monitor the area, to perform all the functions of a control observation post. To date, Ivan continues to design and ship drones to soldiers of the armed forces of Ukraine. They loaded about 60 kilograms of ammunition on him, and he left. Delivery of ammunition, food mines. Soldiers like it, want more drones. Watch this! And this is 
the Holy of the Holies. This is where the military assistants are born, Silko and its younger brother, Targan. But I'll tell you about them later. For now, let's see how are the UAVs are manufactured. So this is Circo's younger brother, Targan. It's more advanced than Circo, it's smaller in size to be less visible for the enemies, and it has better capabilities, which I'll tell you about them in a moment. According to the developers, the drone's speed is 50 km per hour, the payload is up to 50 kilos. For greater maneuverability, the load can be reduced to 15 kilos. It is possible to install a radio frequency analyzer so that the drone can pick up the desired frequency depending on the conditions. Video communication distance up to 2 km, combat radius 2-4 km. Charge lasts up to 4 hours. And what about the distance? If you use a repeater and the signal goes over the air, then the distance is not limited. In fact, I tried for 11 kilometers. The Targan and its modification Mangal can move on any terrain and combine many functions. Kamikaze, scout, miner, ammunition delivery. According to its developer, after the first invention was used at the front, the guys realized they needed something smaller and four-wheel drive. How does Tiagan differ from Circo? All-wheel drive. Circo only has rear-wheel drive, the cross-country ability is also good and the load capacity is greater. But Targon is all-wheel drive, lighter and more maneuverable. The functions of the Targon and similar models are limited to transporting ammunition, several anti-tank mines, or dropping them and mining the area. Unlike Sirko, Targan requires less manual work during its creation, therefore it is produced one and a half, two times faster than its older brother Sirko. Targan is smaller and lighter, therefore faster. I personally accelerated it to 70 km per hour. Like a scooter, they are very fast. And this is not surprising, because the weight of the unequipped Targan is only 25 kilos, not much heavier than a developer is. <laughs> it can be used as a kamikaze. When? Broke off and that's it. Or can it be used like this? Went and returned. There is a kamikaze, there is mining of the area, there is reconnaissance. It is possible to add a rotating camera, transportation of ammunition. Some units used it to make a passage in front of them. It is possible to lift stretch marks or to detonate on a mine. There will be almost nothing to the drone after that. Engineers recommend using the ground drone in conjunction with a quadcopter or other aerial UAV that can carry a camera and transmit video images to the operator over a long distance. This will allow for more effective control of the ground drone from the air, and together these drones will better collect intelligence for the military. Did anybody try to mount a machine gun on it? No, but there were many ideas, they even tried to install homemade turrets on it. If more funding is attracted, then it is possible. Watch this! The developer claims that Targan can reach the speed of up to 50 km per hour on uneven ground and at the same time mine the terrain remotely. Let's check it out. So, are you ready? Let us go. So this is how an ordinary toy car with remote control have grown up to become an effective warrior in a war that Russia has unleashed in the geographical part of Europe. These drones help in front and most importantly they save lives of soldiers who are fighting for the democratic values. My name is Daniel Salem and you were watching War is Algebra. Stay tuned.